All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Into KB, uh, where we're going to do a little let's play of the beta version of uh, Card Hunters. We've been excited about this game for quite a while, and so we're going to give it a play and see what we think here. Let's see here. Let's do Green Fangs Challenge. My old brother Mel uh, Melvin has been telling me how great it is. So basically, if you guys don't know about this, um, what this does is it uh, closely approximates the uh, pen, paper, tabletop game experience of D&D. &D. And you see, most of the imagery uh, has a tabletop, uh, so you can see all your dice there, uh, cheesy puffs, and uh, a Pepsi or Coke or nondescript cola drink. <laughs> Um, and this guy serves as our dungeon master right up here, okay? So, uh, we're going to do a Green Fangs challenge here. Your party has survived the Undying Marshes, following the ancient map of the Gold Leaf Blade. Now, <laughs> now approach the blood-soaked altar of the Lizardman Shrine. They brave for final assault. Cold-eyed lizardmen pour forth to defend their temple, commanded by the skeleton apparition. So I suppose this is one of the scenarios where you're going to get uh, pretty high-ranking characters, and then uh, they'll probably take them away and uh, give you some lower cards, and then you'll start building your deck. But this will give you a taste of things to come. Okay. So I've not played this game at all yet. This is my very first time playing. But what I thought would be that we could uh, learn it together. But I have seen some people play it. So I basically know that, um, you know, obviously these are your player cards. And they have different uh, cards. You build a deck based on their uh, armor and weaponry. Okay. So these are basically how you move and attack and everything like that. Okay. Player cards to def uh, defeat your enemies. Right click on cards to see what they do. So we'll say, let's hear uh, chop. That brings up a, a much larger view. Uh, obviously, since I started playing the game, all cards are going to be brand new. Uh, this is a melee slash. Um, and uh, choose up to two different targets for this uh, for the stack. Uh, this looks like a damage in five and range one. Okay. Uh, and these are imagined common. And so there are different, uh, here's our rare card. This is re uh, Reliable Mail, Armor 2. So obviously you can see everything that's going on. Um, the defense system is pretty unique. I, I, th you know, I think it's something that we'll have to get a little used to. So uh, so what happens is, is um, if, as when they attack you, they attack you with multiple cards. And then this triggers on a roll of one, one or more. So that should, uh, basically that, that reliable mail should always protect you at least once I believe. So, so we'll see how this goes. So when you are ready, left click the card and play it. So uh, we'll say here, we're gonna start with our dwarf. Uh, we're going to walk him forward. So we're gonna play that. And we'll walk him right there. Okay, so as you can see, it's not a it's 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 kind of a, a fast-paced real-time game. So I get to go, they get to go, and I believe there's somewhere where um, it actually has a ranking system, like a, maybe not. It might just be one one to one one. So we'll see how that works here in a second. So he's playing this card, teleports. We'll see where he teleports to. So last him to move up real quick. So if we well, that's what he's saying is that basically this shows you what cards are effect or what squares this card affects. Okay. So the area so that's pretty you know how far it reaches before you play it, so that's nice. Okay. So we'll play another one here. Let's see here. 
get him up into the fray. Okay. Sorceress Bolt. Okay. Attack four. And Ouch. Okay, yeah. If you run out of cards, you can pass. Basically, pass is a way to kind of end your turn. They get a shot to go one more round. If they can go, they keep going until they can. They have to stop. And then once they pass, then you draw all new cards, okay? Wow. So let's see here. Um, uh, looks like... I'm going to assume this is the hit points that these each have. And then um, it's also kind of hard to tell because they're, you're basically looking at kind of like a paper board. So this right here is a immovable object. So I got to get my dwarf around that area, but I don't have any more mud cards. So that was actually probably a very unwise position because I basically just took him out of combat. Um, let's see here. Now, this might be worthwhile here. Um, let's see here, right click. Uh, reaching swing adds three to blocks rolled against this attack. So let's see what that does on this guy right here. Boom. So to look at the card I play, click the card, hyperlink name. Uh, so for example, at least say saying over here on the wall. So he ran a bunch of, he did a bunch of walks. So all those uh, walked. Wow, that guy looks nasty. I love, I just love the aesthetic. I mean, these are awesome. So right up here, this also the, so these are uh, lizardmen guardians, lizardmen warriors, and then the bones of Zhu Ten looks like. So yeah. Uh, really cool, really cool artwork. I really, really love the sensibilities. So let's see here. These guys are closing in fast. Now, uh, these uh, zaps and bolts, they uh, they are all based on line of sight. So let's try this one. This one looks like it could be spectacular. Yeah, that helps. So swinging attack. Gonna hit my guy there. Yep. And my dwarf is just completely. Uh -huh. Automatically. Yeah. So I just took him completely out of this fight. But let's see here. Oh, hey, let's see. Let's try this on the dwarf. Oops. See if we can get him to pull another movement card. Okay, that's that guy shot. Ouch. So, what's this do? Oh, well, blittering chop. So, again, no movement card, so. That really doesn't help. Let's see. Here's where you get where it gets dicey because you're trying to sit there. You got um, the scenario where I I can only I can do one, and then I know that I'm going to be up against multiple moves. Um, so it really can get hectic really quickly. Ouch. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's nice. Wow, that's nice. And now these guys are burning, so they'll take more damage. Nice. Okay, so let's hear. So, I really have nothing to play. Um, she doesn't need to be running up. He's got all the stuff. It's worthless. So, I'm going to have to pass. And this is where the pain starts because he still has probably plenty of moves. 
Ah, finally. Now my dwarf gets to do something here. So let's see here. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so let's try this one because I think I could take both of those guys out. Boom. Oh, he must have been out of range. I guess I didn't notice. Okay. So... Um, I guess we're going to pass again and hope this guy doesn't have some magic to, to fry him because he is almost dead. Oh, and Gary passed. Okay, so that means we're all going to draw new cards. Uh, I get to choose two. I'm going to keep the chop. Oh, that was a discard. See? Oh, and those fires helping us. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. So, first off, run your butt out of there. Uh, is there a way to scroll? Hmm. Okay. Oh, he tripped. <laughs> but that's alright. I'm just trying to get him out of the way. Okay, so. I want to get my dwarf over here. He's got all this armor and then he's okay. Blocks him so blocks in your hand defend automatically if you roll high enough. So let's see here. Then the rolls are kinda of automatic, so we roll high, good, nice. Good. Okay. So let's see here. Boom. Tack 8 as a... Oh, my God. We hardly knew you, Paladin. Okay. So that hurts. But let's see here. What does she got? Teleport others. Hmm. Interesting. It's a lot of movement stuff. And interesting, okay. Did not block that one. But because I had the different armor, so one didn't block it, but the other one did, so yeah. So he is a tank, but unfortunately, I don't have anything else to hit with, so. This is just uh, a bunch of worthless stuff here. Cool. Zap, zap, zap. Uh, this is going to hurt. That's alright. He can handle it. He can handle it. Cool. Okay, so Gary Pass, that means uh, we discard. Mm, we'll go ahead and discard one of those. Now you'll see there are certain cards that with the the individual race you get every time. So since he's a dwarf, he gets the walk card every time. And you'll see that she gets a dash card every time because she's an elf. So that's one of the reasons why I got rid of the other dash card because I knew I was going to get un, you know another one coming right back. So had I did the other way, I would have ended up with three of them. So let's see here. Um, yeah, let's see here. That dwarf is just, just hardcore. Um, do any of these have the range? No. Where I place that, I'm gonna fry my dwarf or uh, we'll do that. Nice. Ouch. Oh. Nice. 
Still, man, like, look at the, just the damage that guy is absorbing. That is so awesome. So definitely, chop hack, boom. And that's how you take it out, ladies and gentlemen. This game is so fun. I love it. Word. And the treasure is mine. Let's see what we got here. A legendary drop. The gold leaf blade. Nice. So this is the way it works. Uh, real quick. So the, with each armor and with the item uh, weapon, they come with the cards. And then based on what you're uh, equipping over here it is based on what uh, cards you have available to you. And then most of these come with pros and cons. You know, uh, for example, uh, yeah, that one's pretty good. It doesn't come with any negatives. But a lot of them will have like where, like uh, for example. Um, okay, so bare knuckles here. So they have the bludgeon, the simple strike, and then they also have the weak strikes, which can usually sometimes have uh, side effects and stuff like that. So uh, here, oops, sorry, I the wrong one. Are you nauseous yet? <laughs> So uh, the weak strikes, for example, you have a couple bludgeons, a couple simple strikes, and then weak strikes, and these just don't hit near as hard. And I've seen some weapons where they have like a suit, like a, a giant hammer, had a super mega, you know, couple two mega giant hits, but then uh, had uh, came with two cards that uh, because your character would get wore wore out by wielding this uh, giant hammer, so it had two rest cards. So uh, that was pretty pretty interesting, and I like that. I think that balances it out so you know usually instead of getting a super supreme mega weapon that has no drawbacks you might have one where um you know like say a uh, sword of vampiric have three really awesome strikes but then one of the cards that you'll get where it actually will drain some health or something like that you know so there's a lot of room for uh, balancing of weapons and stuff like that so uh Battle loops. I don't know. What the, how do I take that? Oh, I can. Um. Can I just put that in? Uh oh, I didn't mean to do that. There should be a way. Let's see here. Oh, well, I guess I'll. This is definitely better than by hand, so. Father Ordos. Uh, Borjo Stoneheart. Now, I didn't name these. These are, these are just kind of like the, the demo. Uh, I don't know if this is demo or just training mode or not, but uh, he, looks, he uses hammer stuff and she's obviously a mage, so. Let's hear onward. Oh no. As you lift the prize in celebration, a terrible rumbling shakes the temples. Nice. The stones themselves seem to cry out in terror as a caustic reek fill the air. Green Fang is here. Uh oh. Now again, this is another battle that I, I watched. Uh, basically, this dragon is gnarly. Uh, beware Green Fang's acidic breath and use your new cards to avoid his ar uh, avoid his armor cards. So for, basically, he'll do an area effect that will leave acid on the ground, and if you walk past it, uh, you'll get hurt. Uh, really nasty. So this is not going to be easy. And he has a pretty high uh, hit points. Uh, and I, I think he has a natural iron hide. Uh, that he has uh, that'll block a lot of uh, absorb a lot of damage. So, all right. Well, first off, we need to get our dwarf up here and blocking the root with the other one. So, okay. So he's gonna fly, so he can really move quick. So let's see here. Did she get line of sight? No, not yet. I'm gonna go ahead and move him. Let's see here. Move him right about here. Acid jet. Oh wow. Okay. Oh wow. Yeah. He's, see, so that's that's devastating. That just cuts the field in half. Oh, it's 
Uh, I hate that. And now my guys don't have any run cards, so. Cleansing Burst. Let's try that. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Yes. Okay. So this is a, a perforating strike. So it's uh, armor piercing, penetrating. So let's see what that does. So dragon hit it. Eat it. Massive jaws. Ooh, eight. Ouch. Okay, armor. Armor. No, no. Hey. Hey. Oh, it's perforating. Okay. So that's why we didn't get uh, armor safe for uh, our dwarf there. This here. So what I need to do. I wonder something. Powerful spark. And it doesn't seem to hurt our guy, so that's nice. But it isn't perfor uh, perforating, so we did have a... So now we're right back to the situation with the uh, acid underneath us. So this is... I can use this. Let's see here. Charge. Every step move must be in the same direction. At the end of the move, if there is a character in the next square, direction move... Do one crushing damage to them. Wow. Yeah, that's nice. Whoops. No. No, no. Did I select it? Oh, I guess I did. Darn it. It'll give me off that acid, so. Dragon Claw. Melee Slash. Seven. Whew. Okay, block it. Nice. Okay, so what's this? I gotta remember to right click instead of left clicking. Penetrating Bolt. Nice. So definitely do that. Boom. Dragon Claw. Mail. Block. Greater heal. Our Dwarven friend there. Get him back up. Let's see here. Try Inspiration on the Dwarf. See if we can get another attack. What's this? Oh, nice. That worked. So, I'm going to transport her, or him, I guess. Off that location, and since he's just basically a healer, I, I want him out of the way. Um, and then I'll have her dash here get her off that acid Gary's still passing that's good now perforating strike Gary passes strong hack yeah still got a little bit so now since I'm completely empty I'll pass and we'll all get new cards I love this game yep ouch ouch that's just devastating. Um, let's see here. Team shift. Hmm. Okay. What is this? Boiling armor. Oh, yeah. Do that. Oh, nice. I'll do that all day long. Now I should be able to do that. Nice. I like that. Okay. Strong bash. Okay. So, and then I also need to get her. We'll run her over here. Get off that acid. Oh, <laughs> you son of a... <laughs> oh, okay, fine. Yep. 
Hit him, hit him, hit him. Nice. Saved by the paladin. Jeez. <laughs> With a terrible roar, the <laughs> green fang crashes to the temple floor. The Viridian Dragon's long reign of terror is ended. Woo, that was great. Gary, what are you doing? You kids can't play Green Green Fang's challenge with my party. Oh, yep. See, we're about to get our cards taken away. If you want to play with my car hunter set, you'll have to start at level one. Yes, Melvin. Sorry, Melvin. Yep. So, what the game giveth, the game taketh away. <laughs> uh, sorry about that. In two KB. It looks like we're going to have to start again by rolling up some new characters. Yes, this is what I wanted to do anyway. I'll get the raid on Omelet module out instead. Melvin's my big brother. Uh, it's his card hunter set. Alright, let's see. Our tale begins in Card Hunteria in the Misty Dusty Orc Head Tavern. An old man staggers through the door, blood smeared from his side. Help! Monsters are attacking the village! Who will save us? Click a tab to choose the dwarf, human, and elven warriors. Well, let's see here. I'm going to give this some thought, and uh, I'm going to end the game right there. So, thanks for watching. Check back later, and we'll roll some characters, okay? Thank you, guys.